This was the biggest battle in the entire Empire Only video, and I want to show you exactly how I micromanage a large field battle whilst outnumbered. It is winter 1100. We are on the march to retake Legetta. I had 1,071 troops in my clan army, and when I saw that there were over 2,000 enemy troops inside the town, my plan was to break the walls and hit at the gap with fire mangonels. This way you can significantly reduce the power gap to your advantage, taking down hundreds before charging. I did not expect the army of 2005 to leave the city, but it turned a simple siege into a challenging skirmish. We were outnumbered 2 to 1, so when the battle started we had 349 to take on the enemy's 651. This was not ideal. I found what works best for me is having the infantry in hotkey 1, archers 2 and 5, cavalry in 3, and all my spare companions in 4 with mounted archers. I don't normally have them so it's normally a way for me to micromanage companions. I start off by positioning the infantry and putting them in a shield wall. I have my cavalry exactly behind the infantry, also in shield wall formation. This is so that if the enemy cavalry charge through the front line, they won't be able to get past and go for my archers or turn for a second charge from the rear, they'll just get stuck and die. I put the two groups of archers either side to get as many angles on the enemy as possible. With battles this size, standing back and micromanaging the army is much more beneficial than getting involved myself. I do however chase the stray cavalry that charge as I don't want to waste arrows on one horseman. These are normally lords or horse archers so I gladly take them out myself and the enemy are still positioning so I feel I still have time. I see a large force of enemy cavalry so decide to manoeuvre my own to help reduce the enemy numbers. I move my shield wall back to try and bait the enemy to charge as they aren't crossing over the peak of the hill. My archers cannot see them from where they are. I check the battle report. We have killed 200 and they've taken out 15 of ours. Again I try to bait the enemy to charge by harassing them myself. I move the infantry forward just below the ridge and move the archers to a better spot and get our cavalry in position ready to charge. The enemy start to fall back so I charge the infantry, take them out of shield wall formation and charge the cavalry. We have gained ground and I take advantage of the new scene. I move the archers up and advance the infantry line, ready for the next wave. My archers in hotkey 2 have ran out of ammunition, so I join them with my infantry. I help take out the enemy cavalry harassing my army.
the enemy are advancing, so I put the infantry back into shield wall formation and advance. I position our cavalry better and organize our lines to keep the high ground before charging. There's quite a lot of red in the kill feed this time, and our reinforcements have arrived. We now have 84 infantry, 100 archers, and 28 cavalry in the field. The third wave of hostile troops are coming in, so I quickly reposition. I pull open the battle report and see that there are over 300 enemy troops in the field, so I am ready for another skirmish. I didn't realise, but they are retreating. I charge the cavalry to try and take down stragglers, but it's already won. 1,155 killed, and only 337 of ours were downed, 246 of those being wounded. This battle was 16 years into the run, and by this point I had honed my skills as a commander. This battle was a fine example of my new abilities paying off. This was the biggest battle of the run. If you would like to see a 4 minute version of the worst battle, or the 22 minute video of the entire Empire Only World Conquest, they are both on screen now.